Hello, I'm Greg Woodburn, and I'm your host for today's episode of Our Ventura TV. Today I'm interviewing artist Rima Muna about her creative process and the life experiences that have shaped her work. Rima, I know you're quite the world traveler and have lived in different places throughout your life. Can you tell us a little bit more about your childhood and experiences? Sure, Greg, thank you. Um, I was born in Lebanon, and I was raised in Greece, England, and Dubai. And I was really fortunate enough to have traveled so much as a child and be exposed to so many different cultures and the arts at a very young age. Um, I came to the United States to study. I went to the University of Oregon in Eugene and I got my bachelor's degree in fine arts and with an emphasis in graphic design and photography. And then after working for a while in the entertainment industry, I um, did my master's degree at UCSB and also uh, my, got my teaching credential. So Yeah, so did you um, know from a young age that you wanted to become an artist? Uh, yes, I think so. Um, when I was about two years old, I grabbed my mother's lipstick and I started drawing on the wall. <laughs> and uh, surprisingly enough, my parents were kept encouraging me to do art. And I was always very good at drawing. I remember in high school and my AP biology class, there would be some really technical uh, uh, biology drawings yeah. that my um, classmates would always ask me to do for them. So I was very good at the technical drafting part of uh, art. And um, I loved it and I decided that this is something I could be successful at doing. Um, I also won a drawing competition when I was nine years old and um, my parents won uh, some airline tickets and a nice dinner. Oh, wow. So, um, yes, I always knew I wanted to be an artist. I always have been an artist. Um, I didn't decide I wanted to be a painter until after I graduated, though. Um, and I was really inspired by the abstract expressionists yeah. of the 1940s, 1950s, um, namely de Kooning and Klein, mm -hmm. and um, was really drawn by uh, the immediacy of their work and the spontaneity and the brush strokes. So I sort of moved from being a realistic uh, painter to a more abstract and um, yeah, so you moved from the, the lipstick to the yeah. paintbrush, <laughs> you went from more realistic drawings to that mm -hmm. expressionist work. I've definitely seen that in the, kind of the, the immediacy and the energy in your canvases, and you seem to have a really deep and intense palette. I wonder if you could tell us a little bit more about oh, maybe sure. some of your travels have influenced oh, those palettes sure. and your approach. Absolutely. Um, I, some of the places I've traveled to, uh, Mexico, uh, for instance, I did a retreat in San Miguel de Allende, mm. and um, the colors in Mexico are so intense and so vibrant and so beautiful and raw that my, I feel like my color palette changed completely um, after that experience. And also I studied under one of my mentors, uh, Lee Himes, who helped me break down sort of the barriers to uh, and fear behind the act of painting and being an artist. And I started to venture into using colors that I would never have used before. And as part of our exercise, we had to use colors that we didn't like. <laughs> so it really, I was sort of unlearning what I had learned mm -hmm. thus far. Um, so Mexico was a big influence. I have a Mexico series. Also Spain, another Spanish-speaking country, <laughs> uh, warm climate. Um, I love the culture in Spain and the landscape, and it's it's so visceral and raw and um, a lot more reds and oranges and warmer colors and definitely and the passion of that region yeah um, and Belize Belize is another uh, place I visited in the Caribbean um, with more cool blues and um, more tropical colors which just is so much fun it's so yeah. much fun and I'm um, as an one of my influences growing up was um, my drama teacher in high school Mr. Jones, mm -hmm. um, and uh, he really helped infuse some confidence in me, um, and I think that's why I'm so drawn to action painting, which mm -hmm. is another way of describing abstract expressionism, is that you really have to get physical with the canvas and interact with the canvas, and um, it's just a very, as you said, there's a lot of energy involved, and it's yeah. almost like an act or a performance, and the painting is the result of that performance. 
Yeah, I really like how you, how you phrase that as that performance involved. When you're doing your series at a more abstract, or you do figure painting, or you do um, pieces based on your travels, do you feel like you approach that process the same way each time, or does it vary depending on that experience you've had or what you're trying to achieve in that specific piece? That's a really good question. Um, the way I start uh, my artistic process is usually with a piece of music. Um, the music that I love the most is opera and um, classical violin. So usually I, I'll play the music and, and um, it will evoke some emotion in me. And I really do come from an emotional standpoint or a state of mind um, in that I'm not painting anything that's a, a picture of anything. It's more of um, a spiritual or an emotional truth um, in a very authentic way. So um, a piece of music or if I take a walk, for example, outside, um, I may see a line or a curve in a rock or in the sand. Um, I live near the beach, so um, that will inspire something, um, a shape or a color. And colors and music and travel um, and spirituality as well, they all influence my work. Yeah, I know you were um, uh, a piano player and very involved with music growing up, and you touch a little bit on that influence with music, with spirituality. Could you maybe mm -hmm. talk a little bit more about, is your goal with the viewer to then for them to feel that same emotion or have that same experience that you felt in creating the canvas? Or what, exactly. is, what are you trying to communicate with the viewer? It's a, a good question. Um, I do want to commu com communicate a feeling and also for them to feel the same feeling or similar feelings or perhaps invoke a feeling in them that I, I hadn't planned at all. Mm -hmm. um, and I love those sorts of reactions from people. Um, you know, your painting touched me in this way or made me think about this and I haven't felt that way or I haven't thought about this thing in a long time. So it's sort of an emotional response. Um, and really, I want my paintings to be transformative and healing mm -hmm. in a way for the viewer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know you not only do you, you know, serve as a bridge through your art, but you're also really involved in our community here in Ventura outside of your work through the canvas. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me a little bit more about your work and how you give back to the community? Mm -hmm. um, I teach. And I, I love teaching. Teaching for me is, is one medium to express my creativity mm -hmm. and also to learn something new. I think the teacher is, as a teacher, you're always constantly learning about yourself, about art. Um, and I just enjoy being around people and I, I'm very motivated through my teaching. So I teach in Ventura, I teach in Ojai. Um, and, and that's a way, in essence, how I give back is by sharing my experiences and my passion and um, giving a different perspective on life and helping people find their own inner joy. Yeah. You know, it makes me really happy. Yeah. And um, along with teaching painting techniques or the painting process, do you also teach in other mediums? Like, do you work in other mediums also as an artist? Yes. I t I, uh, teach watercolors, I teach oil paints, I teach um, uh, drawing, so different, very different mediums, yes, yeah, yes. When, you, like, when you're working in painting or you're working with photography or with drawing, do you, mm -hmm. do you approach it differently or do you see them all as kind of the same you know, abstract expressionist style, you're still trying to get to those underlying emotional truths? Um, it, it really depends. Abstract painting is uh, difficult. Uh, for it's, uh, in general, it's a difficult thing to do. Um, so it really depends on, on the student and where, what they want to learn mm -hmm. and what they want to get out of the class. Um, but I do want to go back to music. Um, you had asked me about music and how it inspires me. Yeah. Um, I, did, I played the piano um, for eight years and um, I used to sing a lot and perform on the stage. And, um, and I love listening to music, and that definitely informs, informs my paintings, informs my subject matter, informs my emotional state, and um, it's also something I like to introduce into the classes. Yeah. yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about what are you working on right now? What's your current series? Okay, I'm working on um, The Color Red and um, a series about passion and sensuality. So it's about finding the sensuality in um, everyday experiences, everyday objects. Anywhere you look, you're going to find that sensuality that needs to be expressed in a creative way. So um, I'm working on that right now. And um, it's, they are abstract paintings, um, 
but they're very sort of intimate as well, mm -hmm. and I hope the viewer uh, can feel the passion when they're looking at them. Yeah, it is no coincidence you're wearing red today, then. <laughs> yeah, no coincidence. <laughs> yeah, where, where do you um, show your work, or where can people see some of your art? Okay. Um, I have a uh, studio here in Ventura, and um, I also show all over Southern California, um, in Ojai and Santa Barbara, as well as Hunt Huntington Beach and Orange County. I also uh, show in Asia, uh, specifically Hong Kong and Singapore. Wow. So I've had my art be being represented in art fairs over there. And my next hope is uh, to show in Dubai, where I grew up. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. <laughs> I, love, um, I love traveling, and I feel like I'm a, a citizen of the world. So it's, uh, it feels like home to me mm -hmm. to be, yeah. Uh, do you really enjoy working um, with other artists or kind of having them in that environment while you're creating, or do you try to kind of put yourself more in solitude? How do you balance that being part of the artistic community yeah. with having your own time also? Um, I definitely feed off of the energy of other artists. It's a great um, pl place to thrive where there are lots of artists around and exchanging ideas. And I've worked with other artists and done some collaboration pieces, mm -hmm. um, some performance pieces, and some video pieces, and 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 the like. So it is very stimulating to be around other artists. Um, however, I do also, um, when, I'm, when I'm in the act, in the process of painting, I do I, it feel like it's a very uh, intimate, very uh, private yeah. um, uh, experience. So I do like to tend to solitude while I'm painting. But at the same time, there's this um, uh, paradox of ex uh, you know showing your art in the public and yeah. and um, it's a very public thing as well <laughs> so <laughs> um, it's it's very very interesting and th that's one of the reasons I love being an artist is that it's constantly challenging me and I feel like I'm growing um, all the time and I'm never bored <laughs> you know it's a it's a job that's always inspiring and uplifting and um, and it's it's a place where you can go inward and also go outward so well, I think I think you handle those challenges and paradoxes really well we're getting near the end of our time but um, if you would just if people want to learn more about your work or possibly contact you could you give any a website or somewhere where people can see some of your work or reach out to you yes I have a website it's www.rimamuna.com r-i-m-a-m-u-n-a <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing your insightful experiences and your thank beautiful you, creative process with us. Thank I really you, appreciate Greg. it. Thank you. And I'm Greg Woodburn. I want to thank you for joining us today. And until next time, make each day your masterpiece.